Hello everyone, today we're going to check out the browser Opera Mini. This is currently version 7. The latest version in the Play Store. This is a free browser by the way, so you can download it from there. So to begin, this is our home screen which we get. This is the speed dial screen. Um, here you can add custom pages for uh, quicker access. But if you want to do this, you can long press on an item and release the finger. You get an option to either delete or change its position. Like this, you can swap them left and right. By pressing the X, you delete it. And when you're done, you press the, you tap on the down button. Alternatively, you can just scroll down and press on the manage button. And again, you get these options. At the top here, of the top right, we have a Google search bar. So whatever you search here, it will display your Google results. results. At home, we have We have feeds from the websites which we visit. For example, I frequently visit this uh, forum using Opera Mini on my phone, and as you can see here, it is giving me feeds on new threads and all that which people make. And at the top bottom, we have a lot more stuff. So yeah, that covers. Here we have the back and forward button, the refresh, and for multiple tabs. To add another tab, you press the plus little button here, and you are now using two tabs. You can switch it anytime by any of these. And uh, yeah. Next, let's check out a bit of the options. We have bookmarks, history. By pressing this, you go to the start page. You save pages. We have the downloads here. And uh, you can also find specific text on the pages. You can share, help, and the exit button. This does not come by default, by the way. You have to enable it from the settings. So let's check out the settings menu. We have the option to, for loading images i have currently turned it off you also have settings for the image quality to save some packet data i'm using unlimited anyway so setting it to high is not a problem for me next we have font size if you are using a smaller screen i really suggest you use small otherwise you can use medium and even large single column view text wrapping status bar navigation bar and all right you have privacy options here and we have advanced ones. This one is for the exit button by the way. I really recommend that you enable this option because by just pressing back you can sometimes leave Opera Mini li running in the background and you do not want that. By pressing the exit you completely exit the app. Next what you're going to check out is the speed of browsing. Please be aware that my internet connection is not the best so uh, I cannot promise you very fast loading, but I guarantee you that on Wi-Fi it will be better. There we go, as you can see it already did quite, quite fine. I am now going to load a website which is full of images and is very large in size. This forum here. As you can see, it loaded quite fast. We have, we still have the pinch to zoom, and uh, I very much like the effects it does when you go forward to a page or back, or when you tap somewhere. For example, here you will see how it will move. And uh, if you have zoomed and you press the back button, you zoom out. If you press the back, it will do a transition again, which I still think it's cool. And uh, yeah, and before we end this video. I am going to mention the their Unico compression technology which they mentioned in the Play Store link. You can access that information from here by going to help and daily usage. Now as you can see you have saved 89% of the data. The original size which you should have received was supposed to be 1.4 megabytes but thanks to their compression technology you have received 166 kilobytes. So yeah this is for the session. And here we have for the total. So in total, I have saved 160 megabytes, which is very good. And that's about it. You can check out this browser in the Play Store. It is free, like I've said before. So yeah, be sure to try it out. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you have liked. Goodbye.